Nick, good to see you. Great to see you. You really are 17 years old. You look 17 years old. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you ever had a date? Yeah, I have, I have a girlfriend, actually. So. Oh, you do? All right, yeah. good. Um, <laughs> uh, do you drive? No, I don't. I, I'm meant to be getting a license soon. I've got to start my lessons. Right, so I, I find in life, uh, I, I'm very distracted by all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. uh, little things are happening. I'm expecting something in the mail, and I, I sort of can't concentrate and think. Well, how does this feel? Pretty, pretty crazy, actually. I mean, the reason why I, I'm fundamentally excited by this opportunity, it's not anything to do with kind of the money or the deal, but the sure, opportunity. It's not. At, That's, people always say that. But it, no, but it's true. It's the opportunity at Yahoo, because as you're saying, right. they are in the process of reinventing themselves. And with Marissa Meyer, they have a real focus on product and right. core technology. But you technology. wouldn't have cared if Facebook gave you $30 million. Uh, no, I would have, because. You I mean, would have we, said no? Well, we were speaking to multiple companies. So okay. we did choose Yahoo, and it's because of that focus on product right. and design and mobile. And, and Sumni was a mobile application. And so I think we're going to really fit at home there. Okay, the more I hear you, when I've heard you in a number of interviews that you've done, the more I hear you talk, I, I start to not actually believe you're 17 years old, <laughs> you're, you're 47 years old, or you're getting advice from people. <laughs> Tell me how that works. What's your, what's, your, what's your world of advisors look like? Yeah, so I founded the company. I was the sole founder. Um, for about six months, I was coding myself. I built the original algorithm. Got it. I was fortunate enough for the Hong Kong billionaire Li ka -shing to just cold approach me. And so he How's that work? He called you, emailed you? What is that? Well, how does that look? It was, it was an email from one of his representatives. Right. Um, and they were like, look, we, we're really interested in talking to you. They didn't realize I was a 15-year-old kid. They just really loved the summarization technology. And then we had, we had a phone call, and we were discussing when I was going to meet. And it came transpired that I had school. And they ended up flying out and, and investing. Uh, you're, you're a kid. You, you study. Where did you learn to code? Um, I self-taught myself. Um, got some books, kind of video tutorials. Wow. Um, started in 2008, and um, the thing that really interests me from the coding perspective is the science behind the algorithm that we've developed. Right. And it's this summarization technology, so it's taking long form content, automatically condensing it so it fits the phone screen size. Uh, I heard somewhere that you licensed some of the technology. What, what was the combination of what you developed versus what you bought? Yeah, so we, I developed the original algorithm. We have a team of in-house scientists that have also been coding. Um, we worked with Sanford SRI, so they're the guys who did Siri, for example, right. and they actually generated brand new IP. They didn't have any, it wasn't a license. Right. Right. They didn't have any stuff previously existing. We built the IP together under an exclusive license, and then when we sold to Yahoo, all of that IP was transferred mm -hmm. over to them. So Sumli and Yahoo yeah. owns 100% of the IP. What does a 17-year-old do with all this money? Uh, well, I'm not allowed to touch it, actually, so it's going to be invested in due course with my parents. Okay, and, and what, what, what are your parents like? I mean, were they pushing you down this road? Are you like one of these Chinese gymnasts, or did they not really know what you're doing? Can you come down for dinner? Why are you still on your computer? It was more the latter. Um, yeah. They were kind of enthusiastic, and they were encouraging me about things like technology. Because they thought it might help you get into university or something? Yeah, um, it was more because I just did it. It was for fun. Like, it was quite clear, actually, I did it for fun. I mean, I never told any of my mates about my apps for about two or three years. Really? So it just wasn't, it didn't, it wasn't something I was doing proactively for kind of, I guess, representation. It yeah. was a genuine innate interest. Uh, so, so have you had some discussion as to what you do with the money? Do you get some of it? Do you get to buy something it'll, neat? It'll be in a trust fund. Um, it'll be invested in Every people. last dollar? Like yeah. No, 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 something? It'll all, no. Um, well, I'll have a, a salary, which is separate. Okay, and okay. So I might be able to kind of save, again, save that. I mean, the only, the only thing I was <laughs> quoted as wanting a shoulder bag, which is true because of my own yeah, I'm sure we can work out a shoulder bag <laughs> so for you. Would you like to put CNN that. on it? Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let me ask you this then. Uh, what, you talked about your mates. Mm -hmm. how, how do you now relate to your mates? You're an inventor, you're a multimillionaire. You still have to go to school. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing my A-levels or the kind of the equivalent of the SAT mm -hmm. uh, and final year kind of outside of school. But I relate to them now as I did in the past. I mean, it hasn't changed, in my opinion, with this deal because I'm still focusing on the product, the technology. The motivation was never the money. It was genuinely, I've been doing apps for three years prior just for the fun. And wow. so that's going to con hopefully continue. So what, what's the future hold for you? Um, well, I'm really excited about Yahoo. I'm going to be working there. I'm an employee now, um, integrating some of these technology in the near future, kind of on a real global scale there. And that's what's really exciting me. So I'm just going to keep... Is there going to be school in your future? Yeah, look, I want to go to university at some point. Um, I just love learning. And so if yeah. there's a way we can fit it all in, that'd be awesome. Excellent. What a great conversation. Thanks for, uh, for coming yeah. by. Good to meet you. Congratulations. Great. Thank you.